Hi, welcome. This is the energy for today, March 27th. I hope you're doing well. Spirit, what is the energy for today, March 27th? What is the viewing you can see in here for today, March 27th? March 27th. So coming apart, maybe you have something going on. Um, almost that train of thought. How funny, it did come out and it came back in. I put it in and it came back out. There you go. Um, you could be worried about something um, coming apart. That's the sense of um, something not going right. Um, but yet maybe that little struggle of um, something falling apart. Definitely that sense of maybe you need to think about something. But you could be putting a lot of fear because it's something of the unknown. But it's coming together. I definitely do feel like whatever this is for you and then coming to life. Um, this could be um, just a really quick change or a, something that you know you're needed to change, but you're not really sort of ready to let go of it. Or it could be an end of something, you know, it could be an end of something. You might feel a little, a little turbulence. I definitely do feel like this card is telling you, you like you're not alone. Uh, there's really help for you there. Um, I think this is just this kind of weird energy that we're having where things are coming to ends okay and it could seem like the end of the world but there's gonna be a surprise there's something that just sort of brings you back to life uh so don't fret and this definitely could be something in your environment it could be something in a relationship it could be something at a work uh, maybe you're fearing an end of a job or a project and you sort of feel like you don't know what to do but with the into the no unknown that's where you really isolate yourself and plan for the future with whatever it is that you need to to do um but you're going to get a message as far as the come together you're going to get a message and i'm what i mean by a message is internally um intuition to guide you down the right path really is what i'm feeling here so what is at the top the top is peaks of joy so see and this is this what we're living in right now in the world it's very hard it's it's very hard i feel like there's a lot of you who want to try something new but you you sort of feel a restriction you see and i told you there's a surprise there's something coming there's a change of something and it's going to lead you to that place where you're like like this card leaps and joy and peaks of joy and just happy at the bottom of the deck is commitment so my gosh are you guys ending um maybe a commitment a partnership that's gone sour you have to plan and go forward um, this is definitely commitment. See, it's so maybe this is the underlying message. You're being pulled towards something that you love or maybe taking the plunge into something. Um, whatever that is for you, just follow your intuition because you're going to get messages, especially with that coming together. Uh, that also could be maybe, you know, friends, you know, advice from friends or something like that with the come together. OK, um, so take it as it resonates welcome guys i always appreciate you guys being here uh liking sharing subscribing um i do feel it's almost that energy of and i mean you know we're no matter where you are because this is happening in the world we feel tied down we feel like we have so many ideas and we want to run with them okay but yet we're sort of sort of like you can't do it you found you feel a little bit like things are coming apart you know um but i think it's momentary i do i just get this big energy feeling of surprise um something that turns all the badness that is happening right now it's just almost like it needs to come up it needs to be exposed um whatever's happening and then all of a sudden you get to sort of start over again it's a it's a fresh i see like a white canvas okay just a, just wiping that slate clean okay so whatever that is for you don't worry um so for whoever that is i hope i hope that makes you feel better but let's see what is the coming apart is this um because you've ended it's like you're getting ready to end a cycle and it's sort of sort of scary you know um what is this coming apart please um the chariot and the lovers wow are you excited for something to start? Are you excited for something to to end so you can go towards something you love? Um, maybe you're mourning a connection. Maybe you're mourning 
uh, a sense of um, somebody that you love, you know. Um, I feel like because it is that sense of maybe ending a chapter, is this maybe a karmic situation that you're ending? Um, you know, it could be uh, like a karmic partner. You know, when you start off with somebody that you have such an intense kind of chemistry with, and then later on in life, you sort of outgrow each other and you feel like you're soulmates, but you don't end up together. It's it's It could be devastating, you know, um, but I definitely do feel with the chariot and the lovers, whatever it is that's falling apart for you, there's this sense of peace and balance coming in here. You know, you, you're actually um, it could be that you're twisted in the sense of you got to end something to pick some someone you love. OK. And that is going to be like where you got to take action. You got to you got to pull yourself out of this kind of place of contemplation in this this place. I feel with this card, it does give me the sense of having some kind of protection around you. But maybe you're not feeling the protection because you're, you're allowing fear to come in. OK, because I feel there's a little sense of fear. Um, Maybe you're dealing with just a really karmic situation and you know you got to get out of it because you definitely want to go towards love. Is this something that you've been sort of dragging your feet and you feel the sort of sense of if you don't take action, it's going to go bye bye. It's going to go away, you know, um, and maybe that's why you feel a little nervous. OK, so maybe you're feeling this kind of accelerated kind of energy of needing to end something because if you don't do it now, it might not be there. That's what they're saying. Whoever this is. OK. What is the lovers here? What is the lovers? Uh, what is the lovers, please? The lovers, this one right here, they say. Um, uh, see, what did I tell you? you? You're thinking about taking action. Do I, do I not? Do I, do I not? Do you end something or do you not? Do you end something so you can move, move forward to love? I mean, this is definitely that sense that I'm getting here. Um, what is the chariot? Have you been waiting to get better? Have been, have you been waiting to be healthier? Maybe um, in that sense of where you're not being drawn by a negative side and only negative side or um, where you've been trying to pull yourself down the middle where you can balance both energies so that you can move forward. There's a sense of getting healthy here, okay, with the chariot. So what is the chariot, please? What is the chariot? Okay. Um, the magician, you're scared of starting over. Um, and, and see, <clears throat> that's, that's what I feel with the card. It's like, you know, something has to end. Okay. And I do see you starting over. I do see that white canvas you starting over. Um, but there could be a little fear. Do you not trust yourself? Are you being manipulated to where you can't move with the magician? The magician is that card of you, you know, man, um, manifesting you know using your powers but it also can be used against you okay with the chariot there because i'm telling you there's that sense of feeling healthy or balanced enough to move towards something so are you not are you not um you know following your intuition or uh, having self-esteem let's see, you got the magician the knight of cups the hierophant and the Ace of Wands, this is something that Spirit wants you to try. This is something that Spirit wants you to go forward in. Um, this is a Spirit card. This is the lover. So it's it's really telling you, you have the choice in this. If you really want this, you somewhat have to take some kind of action. Um, because I see, I see the Knight of Cups and um, the Hierophant with the Ace of Wands. It's almost like this sort of feeling in your gut that you know you're supposed to go this way but you're holding yourself from it and it's making you sick okay um and maybe you don't trust yourself maybe you don't you don't have that sense of um self-esteem uh the sense of you can do it or uh, some kind of fear that's holding you back okay have you not healed about um and to the place where you're you're balanced enough, you know, with the Hierophant, this definitely could be, um, maybe you feel you're dark in the sense of somebody, you want to go towards somebody who is spiritually inclined and maybe you don't feel that way. Or is it maybe you have this religion and they have that religion? Um, something like that. Okay. But there's really a spark there. There's a spark to get you to move and to really, um, use your energy to go towards the things that you love. 
I do feel like there's that sense of love there. Um, give me one for the magician. What's the magician? Uh, the magician. Are you still... <clears throat> are you keeping yourself in a cycle uh, as far as something that is not balanced? Okay. Um, you got the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. You want to work on something and temperance. It's really spirit trying to work on you and... Maybe you just don't know how to let it in or you don't believe in it or um, something like that. But it's really pushing you to start over with the Eight of Pentacles and the Temperance. And this definitely, the Temperance is big right now because it's really where it feels like you sort of have to trust yourself. You sort of have to have patience with yourself and you sort of have to have forgiveness for yourself, okay, with something in order to move forward is it because what i said in the beginning where you might be in a karmic relationship that might be not quite stable and it's time to move on from it but yet you might hold yourself in that you know um but you want to take action what's the knight of swords give me one for the knight of swords please knight of swords <clears throat> excuse me guys um the queen of pentacles so you want to go towards the Queen of Pentacles or you want to take action against the Queen of Pentacles? This one as well, they said. The Nine of Wands. You want to heal something with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles energy is that of someone who has everything. Uh, but they're very generous. They're very tender. They're very, um, they could be very loving. Very grounded to earth, meaning nature. You know, not the, not the negative part. I'm not feeling that negative part. It, it's something that maybe you 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 saw some kind of inspiration in this person. You saw some kind of motivation in this person. This person sort of set you in this place of looking at everything different. I think that maybe if you um, might have rushed out of of a happy relationship with this person or chance with this person, you're feeling doubt or that sense of regret. Okay. Um, but this is somebody who can help you grow and be really quite stable from a place that you're not so stable. And like I said, if um, I guess I haven't said that yet, but this could be your energy or this could be the person you're dealing with. And so if it doesn't resonate for you, it could be something that's happening to them. OK, um, but I feel like there's that sense of maybe you even think that you're not stable enough for this person. So you keep yourself away from it and it keeps you in that sense of falling apart. OK, um, and, and even though you're getting all these signs and these this intuition and this sort of force to move you towards this person to perhaps heal something with them, maybe reconcile, you know, um, it, it's like maybe you don't have enough faith in yourself, but spirit's trying to change you. And that passion is it's not getting smaller. It's getting bigger. OK, um, so perhaps there's something that needs to be given here with the Knight of Cups, some kind of emotion some kind of communication, um, something like this, okay? And so I do feel like if you pulled away from this person, maybe you're having a second chance or a second, a second, um, what is it? They're saying second, um, oh goodness, I got a mind block. It's, um, you, you made a wrong choice. That's what they're saying. You made a wrong choice, a mistake. It was a mistake, Okay. Um, so what is the seven uh, into the unknown? This is where you have to sort of plan what you want to do in order to alleviate this sense of falling apart or coming apart from something. Okay. Um, and it could be spirit. Definitely. Sevens are about spirit tower. Okay. So are you holding on to something material? Um, are you thinking that maybe you can't provide for this person financially? And it makes you sort of like not want to go towards this person. Um, but the tower is definitely telling you, you're going to have to focus about the future. You're going to have to focus about planning something um, because something's going to something's going to happen and it's going to cause an ending. OK, it's going to cause an ending um, and it could be something abrupt. Um, it could be something that just sort of happens out of the blue Um but this is your opening. This is what you've been waiting for. This is your opening to, to change something. Um, this tower is that card of, um, you know, you made a wrong choice. Don't keep yourself on that. 
on that on that cycle get yourself out of it um take it as a lesson learned okay don't dwell on it because the 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 temperance here is like you're dwelling on things and that's why you have to heal uh, with the chariot you got to get your energy balanced okay um what is the tower what can you show me for the tower the tower please okay so you have see <clears throat> what i tell you eight of wands um you got the ten of cups the Ten of Cups and the Strength card and the Five of Pentacles. What I tell you, man, you you had somebody like that, okay? Queen of Pentacles. They gave you everything you wanted. Happiness, strength, love. You saw a lot in this person. This person sort of motivated you. They kept saying it. They motivate you. They're motivator. Um, but yet maybe you, you pulled yourself out of it. You know, you, you might have made the wrong choice. The word that I couldn't say earlier is the wrong choice. You made a mistake. You you picked something wrong, okay? And so now you're at a loss. You're at a loss, so you don't know what to do. But do you keep yourself like this? Do you keep yourself in this sense of feeling sorry for yourself? Maybe a victim mentality kind of thing? Um, or do you change it? Well, this tower is giving you an opportunity to change things, okay? So that you can choose the happy, so you can be at peace with whatever the situation is. It leads you to happy, okay? That's a, the Eight of Wands is this kind of motion that you, you can sort of get yourself under. Maybe end a procrastination period, you know, for you. Um, it could lead you towards healing, um, you definitely need to tap into strength. Uh, really, um, you have courage. You have more courage than you know. Um, and I think it's the only a matter of time before you say enough is enough. No one can change you. Only you can change you. That's what they're telling me here with the five of pentacles. No one else can change you. You got to change yourself. Okay. Um, but there's something going to happen with the tower. That's going to allow you this opening to go into the unknown. And don't let the fear stop you. Don't let the fear take you back and stay in the same cycle. Um, you know, we have soulmates. A soulmate can be a dog, a cat, a human, a sister. Um, you know, there's a lot of different different um, categories that soulmates can fall under. Okay. And sometimes they're karmic soulmates, you know, and sometimes you end up with that person and you serve your purpose with them. And it's not intended for you to stay unhappy or unbalanced or regretting things or keeping yourself sad. This is sad. This is somebody who's sad with the five, five of pentacles. Um, so there's really something that's going to happen. And I, I'm telling you, if you follow your intuition and you realize that you have courage, it's going to move you to have strength enough to move yourself. Because I do see something coming with the coming together. It could lead you to happiness. It could lead you to healing. It could lead you to balancing something. Okay. Um, what is the come together? What is the come together? Okay. So, see, healing. Follow that intuition. Follow God. This is the God card with the sun. Okay. Um anything is possible if you put your mind to it you will have the courage and strength to do it and my ears are ringing really loud right now it, it's a message for somebody if you've been procrastinating on something this is your your moment move forward move forward with it um anything is possible here with the sun you can heal so many things with the sun um and you can have the courage and the strength and feel like you're not alone you got the Ten of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and you got the King, the Knight of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. So getting that wish fulfillment, I feel that you're unsteadiness. I feel it very, uh, very intense, okay? You have a lot of worry about ending something. Um, with the Nine of Swords, are you worried about how this is going to come out? You're, you're, you might be worried of the conclusion. You might be worried of how to do it or how is it going to happen. Uh, God is going to happen. God is going to let that happen for you. Okay, your spirit um, right here with the tower. But it's, it's going to let you end whatever it is that you've been holding on to that is full of um, 
dishonesty, betrayal, the sense of just being overwhelmed, um, the sense of just being unhappy, just sad with this Ten of Swords. It is a 10, okay? It's a 10, meaning it's going to end. Um, and I do feel that sense of perhaps getting your wish come true, okay? Taking charge. This is somebody who wants to desperately make a change, but they're so rid riddled with fear, um, perhaps anxiety, uh, pers perhaps that kind of energy where they just don't believe that can make an impact or a change, okay? Um, but I do see the Nine of Cups as a wish fulfillment of getting some kind of um, energy to move yourself. Um, maybe this is an offer with the Knight of Wands. Finding that passion to make that offer that you want to make, okay? Because I see here you want to you want to ex you want to extend something, and that's what the Knight of Wands is saying as well. But you need that sort of fire to be lit, you know. Um, I do see an end to something. I see that sense of ending anxiety and betrayal with the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords. You're putting a rest to it. You need to put a rest to whatever the cycle is so that you can heal and be better, okay? You got the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Swords. Things are changing for you. It's where you stay in the negative thing or you do you allow happiness for you, okay? So these ones came out as well. Let's see. Oh, geez. See, this says it all. This says it all. Are you going to take charge and have some kind of justice? This is. This could be a divorce. This could be that sense of you need to take charge on a, on a, on um, maybe a karmic partner. Meaning, you might have to let them go. You know, and that's tough. That's that's hard to let that go. But there's something else pulling you. Okay, and that thing that is pulling you is this two of cups because this two of cups is right for you now this is the this is the right partnership to be in um and there's really this sense of maybe a roadblock to get this to start but the roadblock is is that you're not taking charge you're not taking you're not you're not giving yourself the liberty and justice that you deserve really with the emperor and the justice you've really got to take control over something okay are you being manipulated by somebody else, guys? Because I definitely got that with the with the magician. It's that kind of energy where you can manifest things and control, use things for your power. But is somebody else using that sort of magician card on you where they're they're not maybe letting you go? Or you think mentally they put a lot of fear in you and you can't move forward. Okay, you definitely can with the Emperor and the Justice card. You can get to this point where you can get to the right relationship, okay? Um, give me one more for the magician. So it's really pulling on me today. The magician. Um, is this their energy or is this someone else's energy? Um, the hangman, the nine of pentacles, the queen of cups, the eight of cups, and the six of swords. This is where you need to walk away from. The queen of cups is that is that soulmate. It's that karmic soulmate. And that's why you need to walk away from it. So you got the Six of Swords and and the Eight of Cups. It's not fulfilling you anymore and you keep holding on to it. Is it because you have children and you don't know how to take care of your children? That was That is what is um, defying the magician again for me, okay? I'm putting them back because I'm going to ask for that last card. Maybe they'll come back out. But, oh, I think you're stuck. You're stuck. They make you feel stuck. They could be putting such negative energy um maybe because it's something that you started in your childhood meaning not even childhood um earlier on like you know your 20s 30s maybe and you got to this point where you're not you're not with it anymore maybe the person you're trying to leave is younger i see a younger person um, and you're really trying to leave them. I think you're matured a little bit more. That's why you're the emperor. But you got to take that energy, really. Um, I want to know what is coming to life. What is coming to life? And that's the prize. That's the surprise that's coming. Some kind of shift, okay? You're coming to life again, really. You've been in this place that is not so, not so nice, not so happy. Coming to life, card 29. It's a choice. It's a choice, guys. What are you going to do with it? Um, three of Cups, Four of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. You got three tens. Ten, ten, ten. 
ending cycles okay six of wands at the bottom of the deck the eight of cups at the top i think that the justice is here for you that spirit is trying to sort of move you towards is to end a relationship that maybe has been going on for a long time yes there was success in it at one point but it's very hard to end but i think that what is happening with your soul is you're really being pulled to come together come together with somebody okay um and i think you're going to take that leap of faith you're going to take that leap of faith with king of wands um taking that action okay um and that's the surprise there's a surprise remember i told you there's a surprise and it could be a surprise to you the one that you're you know the one that's waiting for this person to take action or it could even be a surprise to the person that's breaking up you know um i think they just might do it because they're tired of waiting um they they could be very frustrated in the in the um environment that they're in right now because it's not the right one the four of wands is completing the four of swords is ending something the ten of swords is ending something the six of swords we saw the six of swords um this is where you're going to get your happy and your balance you might need to maybe come together with someone as far as a reunion reconciling uh reconciliation there you go um it's divine timing it's what your soul and your spirit is sort of guiding you to do and it's sort of when you lock yourself in the wrong situation you very much feel like this you feel lost you feel depleted you feel like it doesn't matter um but there's something there trying to wake you up in order to for you to come back to life that's what this is coming to life you see so perhaps maybe you'll let it happen whatever this is okay i do see it happening i do feel like that's where your spirit is trying to guide you towards um and you can have that two of cups definitely you can make things work here okay um so yeah i i do feel like this is somebody who's just sort of hanging on by the thread okay and i think it's going to be a surprise to both ends actually three i see three endings um what does that mean um it's going to be surprising to the person when they leave them it's going to be surprising to the person doing the leaving and it's going to be a surprise to this queen of pentacles okay so that's what they're saying okay um i want to know how does this story end please oh geez i told you see someone has to leave somebody um because it but it's sort of sad you know it, it's sad when you have to break up something um but just know that you're headed towards something beautiful really um what else okay the hangman enlightened see they made a wrong choice they realized they made the wrong choice um with the seven of wands and the hangman it could be somebody moving towards a, maybe ending a separation um, and having a new opportunity to go towards that person. Um, let's see here. Seven of Wands, standing up, standing up for what you want, okay? Um, I think you've been in a place where you're tired of feeling like you're apart. You're not all there, okay, for whoever this is. So let's see here. Um, I want to know, let's see what is this karmic cycle here what's the karmic cycle so somebody who's married okay you got the wedding rings so somebody's married to their karmic soulmate okay um what is the karmic situation here and how will it end so um paradise happiness okay um talking communicating uh healthy choices um cupid's arrow so have faith love is coming um so maybe you feel like for some of you you don't feel like you're gonna have this maybe you've come out of a, a negative relationship and maybe you're balancing yourself up so that you can allow some kind of communication in or uh, some kind of new love um i do feel like this is a union a wedding a marriage a soul connection okay um what else do you want to show me what else can you show me? So, stabbed in the back and ascension, addiction. Ooh, okay. I saw. I thought it said ascension. It's addiction, um, heart heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, um, shocking, shocking attack. So, 
I feel like this person that stays in this negative relationship, they're really, they're just really um, facing a dark person that they need to leave. And there could be addictions associated with it. Obsession, codependent. Um, I think it's somebody younger that they're trying to leave and they're just really, I can see someone trying to leave and this person just sort of attaches to them. And it makes it very hard for this person to leave them, even though they want to, you know. And that's why it's going to be a surprise for all three, okay. It's very shocking, okay. Um, so let's see here. Uh, let's do this one. Um, oops. What is the mermaid message here? What is the mermaid message? Uh, mermaid message. I think this is also somebody who's ending an addiction. And so now they're seeing that balancing act, okay? Um, mystery. Ooh. Is this a mystery love? Have they not exposed that they love you? Or have you not exposed that you love them? Is it a mystery? Um, what else, please? What is it? That's why it's going to be a surprise. I'm telling you. They keep saying surprise. I don't know what that means. Feelings. Um, allowing to, you know, feel your emotions you know, you got feelings there. You've been bottling up, maybe. Is that why you're feeling like you're coming apart? Because you've been bottling up feelings and then spontaneous. And what did I tell you? Wow. I love when that happens. I don't know how that happens, but it ties in. Somebody is going to be surprised. I'm telling you. I just, I think all three. They keep saying all three. There's three, okay? This is a third party thing. Um. So I want to know, what is the insight? What is the insight here? What is the insight? Okay. It says here, line, oh, sorry, live your truth. Your truth is unique to your life and experiences. Don't line the truth of another, but find your deep, authentic truth and live it fully. That's what changes the world. And you see, this is a person who's been stabbed in the back by somebody. And it's a very codependent kind of obsession kind of thing. But they've been living for this person, you see. They're they're it's sort of sad to let go of them. Maybe it's somebody who's maybe bipolar, narcissistic, um, very codependent on them, financially, you know, maybe financially. Um, and they've been living for them. And so now what's happening is you got all these spirit cards telling you or this person, live for yourself. Quit being a mystery, quit holding back on who you truly love. Or the thing that you really want. And that's why you feel bottled up. That's why you feel like you're coming apart. Okay. Um, but it's it's somebody who needs to leave. Someone who's ooh, very, very, very um, crazy energy. And I don't like to say that. But it's sort of crazy energy. Okay. Maybe they're scared to leave them, guys. Um, but it, something's going to happen. I'm telling you. Okay. So let's see. What's the affirmation for today? what's the affirmation so it says um i am positive motivated and determined i live with a sense of purpose and advice uh incredible success in everything i do i'm sorry and achieve incredible success in everything i do yes you can you can you can live in your truth and get everything that you want okay don't live for others live for you um where's the chakra what's the chakra for today please the chakra what is the chakra um who is so less joy i swear this one keeps coming out every single day you gotta you gotta let some joy in um you definitely have to feel like um you know, like you have friends, you love yourself. Um, there's protection there. Um, I think that you're in a place where uh, your situation doesn't allow you for happiness. It's a fake kind of thing. It's a fake facade, okay? Um, so yeah, that's definitely that sense of getting more stability too. Uh, what is the universal message? What's the universal message here? Okay, so it says, obstacles are detours in the right direction. So these obstacles that you're feeling, they're they're guiding you in the right place, okay? Um, the universe has your back, and that's definitely what I feel. You do have, per, you do have, um, 
uh, a connection that is guiding you. Um, and you might feel a little scared, but it's really spirit trying to guide you towards something. When I'm in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disturbed. And that's right. Uh, the higher frequency that you vibrate at, you know, vibrations, positivity, the the dark matter cannot stick to you. The, the low vibration cannot stick to you. And that's why I got the sense with the chariot right away, somebody's healing. And what it is, is that once you align yourself, the negativity can't stick to you. And that's what's going to be spontaneous. That's what's going to make the change here for whoever this is that's been sort of stuck in the mud, per se, you know. Um, so what is, what is the words of love that they need to hear, please? The word of love. Okay, so respect. You value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love. Yeah. And maybe you need respect as well for yourself to get you out of this situation. Um, so let's see. What do they tell you? What are your, what's your angel messages? What's the angel messages, please? The angel messages. Okay. Um, within the next few weeks. Wow. I do feel we're going to hit some kind of surprise within the next few weeks. Okay. I'm going to take it. I'll take it. Okay. So let's see here. Um, let's see. What is the unicorn message? I like these messages in here. So let's see what it says. It says laughter and that's the joy, right? You need to, you need a good laugh. So when was the last time you laughed? Like really belly laughed. Okay. Let go of the stress. Don't take on other people's stress. Breathe in and out. Yeah. This is somebody who's been living for someone else, guys. And that sets you in that place of ugh. And very soon. What you're asking for will happen soon in a happy way. So there you go. Definitely. Okay, so let's see. Let's end it. Let's do the Kuan Yin. What's the Kuan Yin for today, please? The Kuan Yin. Okay. So you got a few. I'm going to take this one. And it says, look for my sign. I have been speaking to you through signs in the world and feeling your heart. Can you hear my reassuring voice? When you asked me for a sign, I give it. Notice what is happening in the world around you. Take comfort and believe. And yes, I told you this is on a, on a, we're on a, on this kind of uh, massive scale, you know. And we're all trying to get to the same thing, guys. The same place, okay? And that's love and happiness and abundance. And we will get there. And that's when we will come back to life. And that's what we're supposed to be. Alive. Happy. Okay? So there you go. I hope this helps you. Um, please leave me your comments. Let me know what you think. Um, stay blessed. I will continue to play. pray for all of us. Okay? Uh, have a beautiful day. Stay, stay safe. I'll see you tomorrow.